Ticketing on Trellis. So if you're looking to do ticketing for any sort of gala, golf tournament, you're in the right place. We have a full ticketing engine that's backed by a tax receding engine as well. Uh, that gives you a lot of flexibility for your events. As you can see here, here is a, an event called Remembering the Night Gala. Um, you can see there's the home, which is the homepage we're on right now. We have silent auction. We have items for sale as well. There's even a live stream portion, donations, and this is tickets. This is the primary button you want. Uh, at Trellis, we offer a lot of different revenue drivers, auctions, uh, items, raffles, things like that. But um, we do want to indicate what we the primary goal is, and in this case, it is tickets. So as you can see here, we can click tickets here, we can click tickets here, we can scroll down and learn about the event that we're buying tickets for, we can see the sponsors, um, the different items for sale, some donation options, and again, the tickets. So whatever ticket button you click gets you there. Uh, as you can see, you can see some detail about the ticket. There's single tickets, or you can buy a table of tickets. So I've already gone in and added one. Let's add a second one. You can see um, the, the, the checkout and everything is right here. Um, when I press continue, of course, there is that upsell. So this is the donation upsell that everyone hits. They can just simply continue or they can add a donation to their cart. Uh, again, this just showcases people that care more. They're going to donate more. These are people you want to follow up with and turn into those kind of long-term donors from your event. And then they follow the checkout process from there, enter their credit card. Um, and move on so you can see the next page what it looks like right here right so you can assign the tickets or you can even skip assigning the tickets if they don't know their guests right now we tried to think about everything within each part of this experience to make it easy for your guests and do not worry when they do know their guest names they can come back simply go back to the page they can uh, log in and they can edit their ticketing names or you can do that for them on the back end on the back end here, this is the Trellis dashboard that you can see. Um, of course, there's all the results of all the transactions that come through. You can see those results here in the gala, so someone that just paid, and also their RE ID. So you can click that and go directly into Razor's Edge and see more information. And of course, all of their information is here, all of their checkout ID, their, their what they were sent, if they brought any uh, marketing affiliates, so you can get the marketing details, all the ticket holder information. If there's any custom fields, uh, dietary restrictions, it would all be in here too. So you have all the results you'd ever want. And of course, you can export those or just have them go right into uh, Razor's Edge in a batch or automated fashion. Um, to look at the actual ticket portion here, let's go into a fundraiser. So this is how we edit it. Let's say we wanted to call it registration. We can easily do that by simply typing and changing. Um, maybe we want to make this look more exciting. We can do that right there. It's very easy to change anything you want. You can put in new sections. Maybe you want to put like a, an about, um, you know, a custom section that is, um, you know, showcasing many different things like so let's say uh, title here or maybe we change it to an image um, about the event nice and easy um, to make people want to go to the event and then when we go to event tickets we can edit the tickets and there's also ticket settings when you edit a ticket uh, here's the single ticket of course you can make it a group ticket and then you can have more seats on it and you can manage all of the registration numbers and max and minimums that way as well. So let's say you only have 10 tables of eight, you can put that into the system and we'll make sure you don't oversell. You call it by this, this the name, how many are available. As we mentioned, the price, if there's a tax receivable amount, you can also put that in the tax receipt or advantage value. Uh, the description of the advantage, that will make sure it's on your tax receipt course, so you can stay compliant with all the tax receiving rules in both uh, the United States and Canada. And then the description, custom fields, things like that. Um, if you want to put any dietary restrictions in, you can easily do that. There's a full custom field section here where you would go to your, you would add a custom field. You know, what field would you like? Is it a text, paragraph, radio buttons, maybe check boxes? What ticket does it apply to? So it applies to event tickets. Great. And then what tickets is it? you know, you can apply it to exactly. So ticket holders see that, or maybe just ticket purchasers. Everything is customizable on this, and that is tickets at Trellis.